Well, this is the scene outside the uh, the back door of the boat, or the, on the stern deck. Uh, we've had a little bit of snow, um, and it looks like proper snow as well. You can actually make snowballs. <laughs> so, that's the sort of stuff we used to make snowmen out of uh, when I was a child. It's, um, yeah. I haven't seen snow like this for years and years. Oh, probably 10 years at least. Very good looking. What you got cooking? Oh, don't. Oh, look, wreck. <laughs> um, we haven't got any bread left, so today's as good as day as any to make some. Because um, I got a new, I got a new bag of flour when I went up the uh, up uh, Aldi. So I haven't got my scales because the um, batteries went flat, and we're waiting to get some and. I think there is some way you can restore them, but we've thrown them out, so I haven't got them to try that tip I saw from. I think one of you, one one somebody, sent us a tip about how to restore them. I think I saw. The way we used to make batteries work in the old days mm. is we used to put them in the oven. Oh. Batteries that had gone flat, mm. we used to put in the oven. Oh, right. When I was no, a child, I didn't do that. You'd heat that. them up. Oh, uh, uh, extraordinarily dangerous, but we didn't care about danger back then. No, back in the sixties, <laughs> we put batteries in the oven to get them going <laughs> again. Them going again. Anyway, so I'm, it's, it's okay though because this is a new bag of flour, and I know I just need a quarter, a third of it. This costs ten pence more than. Um, the, uh, the the plain or self-raising flour because it's bread flour yeah so you've got to pay 10 pence more for it so I'm just guessing at that <laughs> so when it's when used about a third of the flour yeah, I'm hoping to use a third of it this is enough for three loaves yeah and then did you uh, have you got packets of pre-measured um, yeast yeah you have. I've got the yeast, I got that from, oh. uh, that came from, did it? There you go. It's only a few pence for seven or eight, I think. Hmm. And you want a bit of salt. So how much was the bag of flour? So I think that would, I'm going to say that's 56 pence for one and a, one and a half kilogram. So less than 20 pence per loaf for the flour. Yeah, yeah, less than 20 pence <coughs> per loaf. And... Probably in that 20 pence you can include the yeast. The yeast? Oh yeah, yeah, the yeast is not much money. No. Wendy's moving the beer to try and get to something. What are you getting? Well, this re this recipe which I'm following for this type of bread needs a little bit of sugar and I think you add it now. Uh, oh. Let me just check. Um, oh yeah, sugar. So I'm putting a teaspoon of salt in and um, teaspoons of sugar so this here. is uh this is the recipe oh you can't really see it no. there you are there, there. That that's there. the recipe from the pantry that's the same as the flour yeah so that's um aldi provided that then yeah all this does and then i've got 25 grams of butter warm whatever margarine so I'm just gonna do I put the yeast no I don't put the yeast in yet do I know oh I should have done oh rub in the butter and then stir in the yeast but I've done that the other way round <laughs> that was 25 grams of butter or margarine or thereabouts yes that's right yes no scales no because I said that no scales I ain't got no scales at the moment no when he's good at guessing well I hope so Aren't you? But you've got nothing much to lose. Only, only it's, I have got a lot to lose because you spend time. You've got to nurture the bread for about an hour and a half. Then you've got the things to wash up. Then you've got the gas to cook it. And if it's rubbish, it's rather disappointing. In not in money terms, but in 
your mental terms because mentally it's not nice if you spend this time and it's rubbish and even then I can't give it really to, we've got the ducks and the swans on the canal but you can't feed them bread so, so all you need is one sachet of yeast seven grams it is in here and I've added the sugar because it says on there that it gives it a crust makes it more crusty the bread if you add some sugar to your mix so I'll add that in and then I'm just going to add some warm water and I, and um I can measure that actually but because I've got a measuring jug here let me just see oh I've just see if I've got some warm water in the kettle oh that's lucky well there's probably always warm water in the kettle because we're always drinking tea. tea. How much is it? 300 mils of warm water. Oh. Let's have a look. Three hundred mils. That's about right. Yeah. 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 And that goes in. You've you just mixed in the yeast there. Yeah. And then you pour the water in. Yeah, I'm just going to pour that in. <coughs> I think that flew up in my face. <coughs> now I'm just going to. Um, I've got some dough hooks on here. So I've not got the stand out. It's a bit lazy of me, but I'll just I'll just hold it. Hold that bowl because that will yeah. just yeah. fly off. I reckon. I'll um I'll um just hold that. I'll do it, but with the with the hand mixer. <laughs> lot of good isn't it because I've need, <laughs> needed it together and it's just not working so I'll go back to the best way use your hands that's much the better way right oh dear now it's a bit stodgy now now I've got it looking good you know just resorted back to using my hands so now I'm going to just tip it out onto the there I think what happened was it was I thought it was a bit too dry in the bowl and then I added some warm water and it just wouldn't work with the dough hook so I just do it by hand myself which I probably should have done and would have made less washing up because this recipe you don't need to knock it back once I get it in a minute I'm gonna put it in the um, pan just stick it by the fire and um, that's it. Be good. What does knocking back mean? Means no, sometimes you has to, it has to um, you knock the air out of it. You have you leave it to rise and then you oh. put it so it rises and then you need to knock the air out of it and then put it to rise a second time. But this recipe doesn't call for that and it works all right because I've made this a uh, few times. It seems to work don't seem to have to do that the other one I do sometimes where I use um, the recipe that's on that flour bag you have to uh, use olive oil with that one is that it? yeah that seems to be about it I'll just try and get it to a nice shape because I'm not gonna When he doesn't use a bread tin, do you, to bake in? It just goes on a yes on a tray, doesn't it? Yes, because we don't have a um, yeah, no need to, because I've got a, a bake a baking tin, and it does and it does for everything. Wendy lines that, lines the tin with tin foil. Because it will stick, really stick. And then 
put some margarine on. This isn't that non-stick. So yeah, this isn't that nice non-stick um, baking. Um, the margarine on the bread. Paper. Yeah. yeah, because I'm covering it with um cling film. Cling film, and then it doesn't stick to it. So I prefer to stick the bread. I'll just rinse my hands. So now this gets to sit. Well, it has cling film on, doesn't it? Yeah, to keep the heat in. First. Yeah. To keep the heat in. To keep it um, moist and to it make, it makes a little barrier to keep it warm. I think warms oh, it up right, a bit. Yeah. Because the reaction of the yeast <coughs> is a it warms it, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, now the cling film's playing up. Yeah. Cling film's one of the best things and one of the worst things. Yes. <laughs> That's it. That's it. We've got there, this always happens with cling film. The devil's work it is really. <laughs> Always get caught up. The cling film goes on, and that will double in size, won't it? Yeah, I'll stick it by the fire. Look, for about an hour and a half. Hour, hour and a half. Oh, it's picking there. Step over our little princess. Come on then. So Wendy puts it on a footstool. Yeah, that's it, look. Down here by the fire. Yeah. And that's it. And then So the heat from that fire just comes across and, and warms it up. It. We turn it around oh. every now and again. So it gets an even heat, yeah, don't we Wendy? We do. Because um so that it gets evenly. Come on, sit on there, darling. Pippin's very cold this morning. She's still not right, she's finished her um Antibiotics. Yeah. Finished her antibiotics. Yeah, I'm well, still. I'm um, still. She's not been so keen to have her food or anything. She's just a bit off colour, and not again. She's gone back to being very, very quiet. I'll probably take her to the vet again. Yeah, we will. Definitely. So we left that by the fire for about an hour and a half and um, it doubled in size and then I thought right it's time to go in the oven so you know, the temperature gauge doesn't really work so I just turned the dial up nearly to the highest one and I set the timer 25 seconds, I mean, uh, minutes, I, minutes I mean and I just so here, beep, it beep, is. here it is, let's have a look Uh, wow. Oh, did you did you mark it? Yeah, I marked it. When he's done a, I just did that on it. Yeah. The artisan. Yeah. Union Jack. Because you can, it's <laughs> more like a cut cottage loaf, so you'll probably cut it like that. Well, you, well, if you want to. Hmm. So I'm just gonna put it on there now, and it's looking okay. Isn't it? What we normally do is turn it over and and tap the bottom, don't yeah, we? And then it, it, the oven's the oven's so bad mm. that the heat is not even, no. so it tends to be a bit. That's a good job you know, I the, that, the baker's yeah. nightmare, and it's always a bit soggy it's on the bottom. Soggy. It's got a soggy bottom. <laughs> Who has? <laughs> but the, it's got a nice crisp, it's got a nice crust on top, so yeah. we'll just leave it to cool and when when it's cold we'll just cut it and show you what it looks like. I think it'll be fine. It smells good. It does smell like good bread. Yeah. It does, yeah. So we're just going to leave that out here to, to cool. So we've let the bread cool down and uh, now this is the big reveal. Uh, <laughs> we're gonna, I'm going to cut across the middle because Wendy's made those lines on it. 
And I think I would normally just cut at the edge and go across like that. But I'm going to cut in the middle and just to see what that's like. Oh, it cuts nicely. And here we are. Ta da! It looks like bread inside, Wend. Oh, dear! Let me look. Oh, yeah, it looks pretty good. Yeah, I'm pleased with that. Yeah. Yep. It's, yeah, it's quite. It's not soggy on the bottom. No, it's not, it actually. It no. didn't go soggy. No. Well. Good. We're going to have that now. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to have a slice of that. That's a nice loaf of bread. We'll, we'll cost the gas and say, um, what? 20 pence. About, yeah, 20 pence. That loaf yeah. was 20 pence, maybe 10p worth of gas. Mm. Yeah. It's a pretty good. We've got this uh, little damp patch on the ceiling. It's unusual, isn't it? Um, so I thought I'd have a little investigate. I just take the take the things out. Take the it's a speaker that's in there. It's um it's a bit troubling that we've got damp coming through the roof. Um, but I don't know why that's happening. So you see, it is just a little, um, it's like a car radio speaker. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's quite wet in there. I don't know why that's wet. And there's all this other stuff. I think, I think what I'm going to do is, um, I'm going to take that speaker out completely and just leave it out and then just let give that give that space a little bit of time to maybe dry out uh, we haven't got the fire on today <laughs> we were freezing cold yesterday and we had the fire really stacked up and heating us nicely into the uh, into the evening and right through the night and actually when I got up this morning got up really early six o'clock check the fire was still burning it was still going and the and the, the boat was still warm at 6 a.m but we've just let it die down because the weather is it, it's like chalk and cheese from yesterday to today the snow was around yesterday going a bit but uh today i'm able to go out with you know just a just a jumper on it's it's a nice warm day it's like it really does feel like spring today I've got the engine running you might be able to hear that um, that's to give us hot water and to give the engine a bit of a, uh, a run through use up some of the diesel because I think next uh, next week when we when we get into February we we'll really start to feel like it's spring and we're gonna go and fill up it's only like 50 yards that way but we're gonna go and fill up with diesel because it's not a good thing to keep your diesel tank empty or half full because what happens is you get a lot of condensation in the diesel tank and then you get water in your diesel and that's never a good thing because at, at, at some point your diesel could then freeze and uh, well that really isn't good your engine's not going to start you might do some damage so it's always good to keep the uh, keep the water cleared out of everywhere including the roof